So there was recently this um, tweet by Jack Forge that said, someone needs to explain open source to me because I'm failing to see why anyone would do anything for free. If someone's not putting money in my hands, I'm not writing a single line of code. Is there something I'm missing here? So Jack Forge doesn't want to write code for nothing, and most developers don't want to do that. But is there any case why you might need to open source your code? Let's talk about it. of the biggest companies out there or platforms, Wikipedia, uses an open source content management system. So what that means is that anybody in the world can go into Wikipedia, edit any article, put their own bits of content, and just needs to get approved. But they can actually make that edit. And sometimes it goes up within a few minutes or seconds. So Wikipedia also makes millions of dollars through donations. So Wikipedia is for everybody in the world, right? And it's used by millions, if not billions of users. So a certain percentage of those users want to help out with a small donation. It could be $2, $5, $10. And if most people or certain amounts of people are doing that consistently, that can build up and turn it into a multi-million dollar platform. So if you're building something that you need everybody's input or eyes on, then I think you should open source it. Don't look down on the fact that you could get tons and tons of donations. So give people the access that you can give them, let people enjoy the tool, give out the information, and you can get that back um, for donations. If you don't care about the monetary reason so much, open source is also a great way to learn and to teach. If you're an entry-level designer or an entry-level developer, seeing how that person created a bit of software by them open sourcing their code is a great way to learn. In fact, one of the best ways to learn. So on GitHub, this is a known practice. You see a developer source code, and you can fork it, which means you just get that code into your own repository, which make it, make it your own, but it still has that link that it was from this person. And you can pretty much do anything you want. So you can go into the code and make it custom and do anything from there. And you can learn how that developer created that process. Also, this is the same way in the Figma community. Um, people have Figma community files, which means that how they actually created the design. Those files are open to everyone. Just need to go in there, download it, and you can have access to that file and make it your own. So that's also a good way to learn how designers think through their processes, how they name their layers, how they do everything, how they set up their design, and it's a super important way to learn. And also on the flip side, if you want to teach people just open source your design or open source your code. Let them have it, and it's a great way to reach a vast amount of people.